in this topic we will discuss about the handling of segregating populations now what is handling in the process of hybridization we obtain f1 generation by growing hybrid seeds now collect the seeds from f1 generation and grow f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 extra generations respectively these all generations like f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 extra are known as segregating generations segregating generations have genetic variability the process of crop improvement by selection from these segregating generations is known as handling as the selection process proceed heterozygosity continuously decrease in these segregating generations f2 generation has high heterozygosity while f6 generation has less heterozygosity about 3% There are three methods of selection in segregating generations of F1 hybrid: pedigree method, bulk method, and backcross method. First of all, we will discuss about the pedigree method. When individual plant progenies are grown in segregating generations and their record are kept safe for future use, then this is called pedigree method for keeping records pedigree numbers are given to each hybrid plant for example a pedigree number is 8615-7-4-2 here first two digits 86 shows the year in which hybrid is developed it means 1986 last two or three digits here 15 shows the serial number of hybrid next digit 7 shows that hybrid is seventh plant of f2 generation next digit 4 shows that hybrid is fourth plant of f3 generation next digit 2 shows that hybrid is second plant of f4 generation we can describe the pedigree method by generalized outline in the first year parents p1 and p2 are hybridized with each other as a result we obtain hybrid seeds in the second year hybrid seeds are grown in a field at particular distances to obtain f1 generation in the third year f2 generation is raised in which 2000 to 10000 plants are grown on particular distances now from these plants 100 to 500 plants with superior characters are selected from fourth to seventh year f3 f4 f5 and f6 generations are raised during each year individual plant progenies are developed and plant with superior characters are selected in 8th year f7 generation is raised and initial yield trials are performed from 9th to 11th year f8 f9 and f10 generations are raised and coordinated yield trials are performed in 12th year f11 generation is raised to multiply the seeds these seeds are now distributed in farmers next we will discuss about some points such as check variety and shuttle breeding now what is check variety this is a local improved variety which is used to compare the performance of new developed variety performance of new variety as compared to check variety can be calculated with the help of following formula performance is equal to performance of new variety divided by performance of check variety in 200 next point is shuttle breeding 
when segregating generations are grown alternatively in two different fields then it is called as shuttle breeding suppose there are two fields a and b f2 f4 and f6 generations are raised in field a while f3 f5 and f7 generations are raised in field b the second method we will discuss about is bulk method in this method seeds of segregating generations are collected as a bulk this method was first of all used by nelson ellie in 1908 we can describe this method by a generalized outline in the first year parents p1 and p2 are hybridized and hybrid seeds are collected in the second year hybrid seeds are grown in a field at particular distances now collect the seeds of all the plants as a bulk from third to seventh year f2 f3 f4 f5 and f6 generations are raised during each year plants are grown as a commercial crop and collect their seeds as a bulk in 8th year f7 generation is raised by growing 30000 to 35000 plants at particular distances 500 to 5000 plants with superior characters are selected in 9th year f8 generation is raised by growing individual plant progenies superior progenies are selected now collect seeds from 100 to 300 homogeneous progenies differently in bulks in 10th year f9 generation is raised and initial yield trials are performed from 11th to 13th year f10 f11 and f12 generations are raised and coordinated yield trials are performed in 14th year f13 generation is raised and seeds are multiplied now these seeds are distributed in farmers there is also a simple and effective modification of bulk method which is known as single seed descent method or ssd method in this method single seed is selected from seeds obtained from each plant of f2 generation now all the single seeds are mixed up as a bulk now f3 generation is raised by growing these seeds suppose there are four plants in f2 generation each plant produce a small seed lot now single seed is selected from each seed lot now mixed up all four seeds as a bulk and grow them to raise f3 generation we can describe the ssd method by generalized outline generalized outline of ssd method is just similar to bulk method except one step from 3rd to 7th year f2 f3 f4 f5 and f6 generations are raised during each year plants are grown as commercial crop select single seed from each plant and mix them as a bulk to raise next generation the third method of crop improvement is back cross method in this method hybrid progeny is back crossed repeatedly with its one parent as a result genotype of new variety make identical to parent genotype here parents are divided into two categories recurrent parent or recipient parent which is used for repeated back crossing and non recurrent parent or donor parent in this method f1 hybrid progeny is developed by hybridization between non recurrent and recurrent parent now this f1 hybrid progeny is back crossed with recurrent parent to produce bc1 progeny now 
BC1 progeny is again backcrossed with the recurrent parent to produce BC2 progeny. This process of backcrossing is repeated continuously up to BC10 progeny development. As the BC generations proceed, gene frequency of recurrent parent get rise. In F1 generation 50%, in BC1 75%, in BC2 87.5%, in BC3 93.75% and lastly in BC10 99.95%. We can describe the backcross method by generalized outline. In the first year, parents P1 and P2 are hybridized to produce hybrid seeds. In second year, hybrid seeds are grown to produce F1 generation. F1 progenies are backcrossed with its recurrent parent P2. In third year, BC1 generation is raised and rust tests are performed. BC1 progenies are back crossed with recurrent parent P2. From 4th to 7th years, BC2, BC3, BC4 and BC5 generations are raised by back crossing with P2 parent in each year. In 8th year, BC6 generation is raised, rust tests are performed self-pollinates the resistant plants. In ninth year, BC6 F2 generation is raised by growing individual plant progenies. Self-pollinates the resistant plants, collect the seeds from each plant separately. In tenth year, BC6 F3 generation is raised by growing individual plant progenies. Collect the seeds from resistant and superior plants and mix them as a bulk. In 11th year, BC6 F4 generation is raised and replicated yield trials are performed. In 12th year, BC6 F5 generation is raised for multiplication of seeds. These seeds are now distributed in farmers.